are going to be doing Jones Road take two today. Before we continue this video, I have one minute to just share with you my thoughts on the drama going on with the Jones Road Foundation and other Jones Road products. I am reviewing this product fully knowing that this is not the products for my skin tone or skin type. I have acne, oily, texture, sensitive, all of that. Jones Road complexion products are not best for me, but I'm reviewing them because you as the viewer have requested my thoughts on these products. That does not mean they're best for me, but it might mean it's best for you. And I hope you follow and find creators that suit your skin type and your skin and makeup needs. We are all different. I love Bobbi Brown as an artist, but I'm simply reviewing this because you asked for it. I know full well these are not best for me. So let's continue the review. The Jones Road part one video was one of my most popular videos here on my channel um, in the recent times, especially as I've gotten into clean and conscious beauty. Um, it was a little polarizing. The end look was very pretty, but like the application and the experience of applying them was just very out of my comfort zone. And I just felt some kind of way about a lot of the products. But at the end of the day, a lot of you liked it. And even myself, when I saw the video footage, I was like, oh, it looks nice. So today there's been a few new things that have come out. Um, mainly the Miracle Balm is one that so many of you wanted me to try and I was very hesitant about it, but I have since purchased and tried three different shades, three. Um, I also got a couple of the eyeshadows singles. I've got a couple of the lip and cheek sticks and I will be featuring one of the three Miracle Bombs. So with that being said, all I have on is my sunscreen. I do need to add some concealer. So for that, I'm going to go in with Lawless Concealer, which is totally gonna be coming soon as, as far as a review goes. Um, I just wanna put this like spot conceal on areas of my face that have some scarring, blemishes, things like that. I'm not gonna do my under eyes yet because I wanna do the under eyes after I put the Miracle Balm, Balm on. So, to discuss a little bit about the products before we even get to the application, um, let me talk about the Miracle Balm because that was the one that I A, had the most requests about, but B, by the way, this concealer is amazing. If this is a forest sale still going on, you need to get this concealer. The brush is also incredible, but apparently it's not available yet on Lawless. Um, anyway, so first Miracle Balm I ordered was Sunkissed. It was recommended as one of the shades that would work for my skin tone. Um, Sunkissed was very brown and looked very like dirt on my skin. It was not as complimentary as I thought it would be. And um, I ended up having to give it away to my facialist, my esthetician, because she's a little bit more brown. Like I'm olive golden, she's more like brown. So if you have more of like a brown undertone to your skin and you're tan, Sunkiss would work for you, but it just wasn't working for me. So I said, all right, let me try bronze. The reason I didn't want to try bronze at first was because it said it could make your golden skin look more yellow or orange or whatever. And I was like, well, I already have those tones in my skin. I don't want to get that one, but let me try. So when I got bronze, it just didn't show up at all. Like it was just totally, like you couldn't see it. So um, I ended up keeping the limited edition shade in flush, which came out kind of recently. And this one, I really hope they make permanent because this works. Is it my favorite thing of all time? Not really. I do really feel like this is like tinted aqua for. So if you like that kind of dewy, glowy look on your skin, that's what this is. So all the videos you see on it on Instagram and such are true. You're just gonna break the seal and then you pick up the product. This is just a very pretty blushed color. It really is a perfect name for it, flushed. It has just that hint, right? So that's what we're gonna use today, kind of as like a cream blush. Um, but when it goes on the skin, it truly feels like, honestly, like I'm putting Aquaphor on, kind of like you're slugging. So if you love that, you'll like this. This is also not something that wears incredibly well over like a full face of foundation. So, I don't know, um, not that I like need a full face of makeup and I'm totally comfortable wearing like no foundation, like having my skin with just some SPF and concealer, I am totally comfortable with at this point in my life. 
Um, but the problem with this stuff is it is very dewy. And as somebody who's oily combo, I really have to watch it. It just, and also I find it lifts a little bit of the concealer underneath. So I like this color out of all of them, but it's just not something I reach for. There are so many great cream blushes on the market these days and like balmy, glossy products. I don't know. It's just not my fave. It has like a lemon citrusy smell. So it is not totally unscented. And yeah, so that is how it looks on my skin. It looks pretty. It's a little bright in here. Hold on. I'm filming with, it's very sunny right now. So I have to be careful. Hold on. That's better. Okay. So I don't know if you can tell, it does look like not much, right? It doesn't look like I have much on my skin. So let's just leave it there. Let's just leave it there. I'm gonna do concealer and then we'll come back. So, so let's go in and blend this out. So concealer is on the eyes. I feel like I look very ill. <laughs> And this is what I said on Instagram when I did this first impression. Um, I think because I need like a little more bronze to my skin. So I'm going to use the Rare Beauty stick in uh, Happy Soul. I've been loving this. It was on my Sephora sale recommendations. It's just going to help bring a little more color to my face. Because I don't um, self tan my face and I wear pretty high SPF every day, my face will never match my body and I'm really okay with that. I actually prefer it. It means I'm protecting my skin from the sun. Um, so I have no problem getting foundations that match my body that don't necessarily match my face and then just making things blend together. But I always need to add some bronzer to just warm up my face because it is typically pretty light. Not only do the, does the SPF prevent any sun color, but I use regularly chemical exfoliators, which keep it exfoliated and, you know, tend to keep that fresh layer of skin visible, which is lighter than the skin that it's not. So I'm just blending it in here. I'm kind of using the bronzer everywhere because I actually do need to kind of uh, bronze up the entire face because it is very light for my body without foundation on. Okay, let's do a little more of flush. Just squeezing my finger into it. There's really no way to do like a brush in the pan. It's just, it would be, I don't know, you wouldn't get as much color. So this is gonna be very dewy today. That is just the vibe. <laughs> People are gonna think that I'm sweating. Oh, I don't know. All right, I'm gonna quickly do my brows. All right, I think that makes things look a little bit better. I am gonna set the eye area with my Charlotte Tilbury. Take down a little bit of this shine that's everywhere. Now, I will say I found it pretty amazing that my time testing the Miracle Bombs didn't seem to break me out, which I thought was pretty impressive. So for the eyes, I got two shadows, one in very dark brown and then one in rose gold. These shadows are extremely expensive. I think they were $25 each, okay? Now the packaging is adorable. You got the little mirror and the, si the size pans are pretty generous, similar to the Bobbi Brown Cosmetics eyeshadows, the singles. It's just crazy to me that they're this expensive. Like I would much prefer Half the saw, I don't know. I just think like to me, $25 for one eyeshadow is just nuts. I don't know, I don't know. That's just my mindset. So this is dark brown. I'm gonna use this all over, very light wash, and then top it with the rose gold. Now I have absolutely nothing bad to say about the formula for being like a clean eyeshadow. I think they're really nice but there are plenty of nice clean eyeshadows out there. So there's that. I struggled to pick out two shades because I was like $50 on two eyeshadows. I could be buying a full palette. Okay, and then I'm gonna take the rose gold with a, sh with a shadow brush first and then I'll use my finger. So this is just gonna soften it all up. All right, so that like lightened it up a lot. I'm gonna take the 
color on my finger to really lighten it up. And this kind of gives me more of like a taupey patina shade, which I really like. And it was easy to do. Like that eye look took like a minute. So that part about Jones Road, I, I admire that like the products do tend to kind of work together in a really pretty way. It's just like $50 for two eyeshadows to me is just crazy, 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 crazy. All right. I'm also going to take the Jones Road liner in brown and kind of give myself a little lash extension wing here. It's not very official. <laughs> it's just a little brushy brush. I got to go quick. But that's the kind of makeup this is. It's meant to be quick, quick, quick. I'm going to add a mascara uh, today. I think I'm going to do... I'm gonna do the Bite Beauty Upswing Mascara and then we'll finish off with these lip and cheek <laughs> sticks. I'm going so fast because I have to pick my daughter up from ballerina school. All right, this mascara is very dramatic, but with this lap eyeshadow look, I feel like we need something more bold. I feel like when you're in a rush to do mascara, that's when like your lashes decide to fall out and poke you right in the eye. Okay. So as for the multi-sticks, I have two. So the first one I purchased was Bright Coral. And um, it actually was a lot brighter than I thought. So this is like a tangerine. Like this should have been called Bright Tangerine. That is bright. When you look at it on the website, it does not appear that it's gonna be that bright, but it was. And I actually have a very similar color from Ilia that I really enjoyed and I used the heck out of last summer called I Put a Spell on You. I Put a Spell on You is the one that's a little more orange here. So I said, I don't need like this color. I have something so similar. So whatever, I kind of put it to the side. Um, let me demo it on the lips to show you. Now, these are meant for cheek and lip, but they feel very nice on the lips. And it is not common that these kind of multi-use uh, sticks feel nice on the lips. They usually feel dry. This does not. And to be totally honest, I would prefer using this on my cheeks over the Miracle Balm because I'm more oily. So that is that. Um, the other color I got is Mauve Rose, which also reminds me of an Ilia one that I have and I like, um, but they ran out of the one I really wanted, which I think was English Rose. So that's Mauve Rose, and the one from Ilia that's comparable is At Last, which I use in the fall and the winter. So this is kind of obnoxious that I have very similar colors, but... What are you gonna do, right? So let's do mauve rose and these are great to keep in your purse. These are like perfect quick makeup pick-me-up sticks. I'll actually even use a little on my cheek. I will blend this out with the brush I used for the bronzer because I normally do use this kind of brush for creams. And kind of will pull the look together. And it still has a dewiness to it, but it's just not as much as the Miracle Balm. All right, I guess that's really this, this look. Definitely took longer than I wanted it to. Um, what do we think? I feel like for easy weekend makeup, like if you're not doing anything, this is great. Maybe pick some softer shades. Maybe don't pick dark brown, pick like one of the lighter browns. But overall, it's fine. Again, it kind of came together at the end, but it's just not my favorite. So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just prefer a more like medium coverage on the skin. There's something about this that just doesn't flatter my complexion as much. I know I don't have perfect skin and it's not that it looks bad. It just could look better. So anyway, um, Miracle Balm meant for somebody who I think is either really dry or just loves that very juicy looking complexion. That's not me. Neither one of those categories is me. Um, but I actually really enjoy these multi-sticks. I actually might even add a little bit of the bright coral. 
I need to go pick up my kid. Better? Worse? I don't know. Maybe worse. <laughs> All right, guys. I will talk to you later.